Let's take a look at Shavasana, corpse pose. This is a wonderful pose to rejuvenate the body cells. It's deeply relaxing as it's going to help us integrate all the effects of the preceding poses, and it will aid in our physical and mental healing. So we begin this pose in a supine position. The feet are about a shoulder distance apart, just a little bit wider than hip width. The inner legs might naturally roll out to the sides as well as the feet. You might stretch down through the legs to give your body some length. You might also do that with your tailbone just to give your lower back some length. Your arms are about a 45 degree angle away from the torso just so there's some space in between the armpits. And you might find it helpful to give yourself an adjustment by gliding the shoulder blades down away from the ears and feeling a sense of broadening in between the shoulder blades. The inner arms are turned upward as well as the palms. And you might find it helpful to slide the base of the skull away from the shoulders just to give the back of the neck some length. The throat should remain open and relaxed. The spine should be neutral in its natural curves. And of course, this pose involves no physical effort, but we do want to have some mental effort or mental alertness. So as you close your eyes, you can gently lift your gaze toward the point between the eyebrows. This will help us to stay awake and alert. And we can focus on feeling the life force moving from the periphery of the body inwards and upwards toward the brain. This is a wonderful pose to internalize the mind and help us develop receptivity. As we silently affirm, bones, muscles, movement, I surrender now. Anxiety, elation, and depression, churning thoughts, all these I give into the hands of peace. I'd like to show you some variations for this pose as well. If you find that your lower back is uncomfortable, you can use a rolled blanket or cushion underneath the knees. This will also help those of you who tend to have your knees locked and you want to find that right spot where the prop properly <laughs> supports the knees and thighs. If you find that your neck feels compressed, you can also use a blanket, rolling up a little bit of it to support the inward curve of the cervical spine. And if you find that in this pose your head drops back sharply, maybe it's due to the bulk of your shoulders or the chin just lifts up, taking your neck out of proper alignment, you could actually benefit from having a folded blanket or cushion under the back of the head and that should bring your spine back to a neutral position if that's needed for your body. So that was a review of Shavasana, Corpse Pose.